2 million Americans are impacted by epilepsy, a neurological disorder where electrical signals in the brain are disrupted. Medications help minimize symptoms in most people, but for 30 percent of patients, drugs don't work. I had a young lady, she was 39 years old, she was having several seizures today, she couldn't work, she couldn't drive, she couldn't take her kids to school. When their lives are disrupted, many patients turn their attention inward to a pacemaker of sorts. Surgically implanted, it helps control seizure activity. It's not necessarily a fix, but it's um, it's meant to um, identify the uh, impulses. We all have two vagus nerves, one on each side of the neck. These nerves transmit impulses from the brain. We make an incision in the neck, you know, and find the vagus nerve, and then get the leads around that vagus nerve, and then tunnel the lead down to that generator, which sits within the chest wall and it's concealed underneath the skin. The stimulator sends short bursts of electricity to the brain to decrease activity that leads to seizures. It's programmed to deliver pulses at predetermined intervals. If someone feels an attack coming on, they can activate the stimulator immediately by placing a magnet against the device. The device is also approved for children, like toddler Logan Mendrez, who suffered up to 100 seizures a day. Some people it eliminates them, period, and some of them decrease the amount of seizures. Right now, I would be happy with either. Undergoing the procedure, a price many will pay to calm the storm in their brain. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.